So I gotta change the knock sensor again. It didn't work out. The Duralast sensor seemed not to be working properly. I can see communication with the computer, with the scanner, but it's not working. So here we go again. I'm gonna change it. Hopefully this won't work. I got the one from, from Honda. There's an OEM product. This one cost me 260 bucks with tax and everything. While the other one cost me about 74, I think it was, from AutoZone. Hopefully this will solve the problem that we're having. So we're gonna start again by taking the cover from underneath. It has those plastic clips. And this is what I'm gonna use to remove every single clip. I'll show you how. Let's find one. So there's one. Pop it, unlock it, it should come right out. So find all the ones that that the, is holding the cover in place. And it might have 10 millimeter screws. These, some are missing, as you can see. Over here, supposed to have a screw, it's missing. But remove that, and then I'll show you how to get to the sensor again. Once you got all the clips out, pull on the cover and get it out of the way. You don't have to remove it all the way, but this is enough to have access to the sensor, which is right through here. Right there. Let's see if you can see it. Let me see, it's right there. Where is it? I don't know if you guys can see it. Just way up, up in there, the light shining right on there. See it right there? Right there. So remove the clip, squeeze the connector and pull. And then this, and the sensor, you're going to have to get to the sensor with the one in one sixteen wrench or twenty seven millimeter, and just turn it counterclockwise. All right, guys. As you can see, I got the, I got the connector removed. The connector is hanging. It's on the side right there. It's removed. So it's the type that you have to squeeze and pull. But since there's barely any room. What I did, I have two screwdrivers, two long screwdrivers like these. Right? And with one, I went in there with both of them. One I used to push on the tab on the plug, while the other one, I got in front of the plug and turned the screwdriver like this to push it away from the sensor. So one for the tab, and one to push it away. And that's how I got it out. So one to push on the tab and the other one to pry it off the sensor. And then the red CC, now I gotta put a wrench on it. Some people use a socket and a ratchet and all that, but as you can see, I don't know, in the O2 CRV, there's barely any room. But it doesn't mean that it's impossible. So I'm gonna put the wrench on there like I did with the first one and that's why I know it's gonna work. I'm gonna use an opening wrench like this. And I'm gonna put it on there. And I'm gonna get it loose. Once I get it loose, And I'm gonna, yeah, like that. See, it's loose. It didn't take much. Now I can squeeze my hand in there and then turn it with my fingers and remove it. Okay, guys, I got it. So once I, I got it loose with the wrench, I had to give it a couple of quarter turns and I went in there with, with the fingers. I just went like this. So eventually I got it off. 
not to install it's the opposite and it is challenging obviously because there's barely any room but it's not impossible okay now this is the AutoZone one it's brand new I'm gonna try the OEM Honda one and hopefully that works and if it does that's it you can use this video as reference and pay a little bit more for the OEM one and hopefully that works for you too unless we got a problem with the wiring but like I said I can see it communicating with the scanner I just don't know maybe it's not good enough or maybe I don't know hopefully this helps this resolve the problem because it is a pain in the ass all right wish me luck all right there's the original one well the oem honda new one that i just got so i went in there with this hand like this not like this like this with the sensor in my hand found the hole and then turn it I guess the threads are recessed a little bit. So once you sit it in the hole, it it, it goes in, it goes in. It, it sits right in the hole and it just, you're able to turn it. And obviously by hand, you're not gonna cross thread it. So that's a good thing. And then the plug, you place it where it goes and then push it in and it clicks in place. So you have it folks. That's how you change a knock sensor on an O2 on the CRV. Now all I gotta do is put the cover back on and take it for a test run. All right, guys, drove it around, check for any codes, no pending codes. So if you have a P0325 or any knock sensor code, I recommend for you to get an OEM directly from Honda, pay a little bit more, but you don't have to change the sensor twice or pay somebody to do it twice. I already showed you how to do it, what tools you need, very simple. It is a pain in the ass, but it's doable. Um, and there it is. Honda sensor, OEM, that's what you got to go with. So if you like this video, guys, and it help you, if it helped you in any way, please like, leave a comment, ask me any questions, and have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.